a modified stage two, forcing indoor dining at restaurants to close. Some businesses are getting creative, building yurts, for instance, for a private dining experience outside. And as Ontario hits a record number of daily case counts, many are preparing for a long winter of restrictions ahead. No surprise, restaurants are once again taking a huge financial hit. Amsterdam Barrel House in Toronto has capacity for 300 people inside, but permission right now to host zero. So they've come up with a reimagined dining experience. People seem really, really excited to, uh, to book an experience, a private one, in the yurt with their family. The yurts can accommodate up to six people in the same bubble, and there's enough air flow to ensure they can be aired out during and between bookings. The idea seems perfect for a Toronto winter, but there has been mixed messaging on the rules from different levels of government. While the city says they're not permitted, the Premier says his health table has approved the makeshift structures. So on admission of that, we are going ahead and trying to start booking them as soon as possible. For private gyms, these solutions aren't as easy to come by. With temperatures dropping, outdoor classes really aren't an option. My clients just got back into the gym and they were just kind of getting their groove back and then it was like, okay, we got to stop again. I do think it's unfair. What seems even more unfair, after two weeks of closures, seemingly no results. Today, Ontario surpassing 1,000 daily COVID cases, a record high. While there have been slight improvements in Ottawa's numbers, Toronto and Peel's have remained high. And with daily testing numbers increasing after taking a dip... We're going to see more cases. We're going to see cases climb. I think what is most surprising is that we haven't seen any like, drops in some of those hot zone areas. The province says the high case counts are concerning and could be the result of Thanksgiving gatherings. Toronto's Medical Officer of Health says it is too soon to see the results of the restrictions in a modified stage two. But despite that, some health experts say the next steps are obvious. We need to start making changes immediately. And I think the next thing that should be done is to reduce social gatherings to 10, indoor and outdoor. I don't know why that's taken so long. It was effective here in Ontario when we first introduced it, and it would be effective if we did it again. Given the numbers, business owners are convinced that restrictions could be in place for some time to come and are hopeful their ideas can help alleviate their struggles. And clearly the yurts are a popular idea in Toronto. There has already been a ton of interest in booking one of them. The manager tells us since posting about them on social media, there have been hundreds of inquiries. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.